Hello, and welcome to the five reasons why you don't want to move to Utah. Visiting here is fine, because as you can see, the backdrop behind me, that's a Golden Arches here in Utah, and it's, we do have some very beautiful spots here in Utah. But I'm not here to talk about the beautiful spots here in Utah. <clears throat> I'm here to talk about the five reasons why you don't want to move here, or you want to live, you don't want to live here, basically. I've lived here for 40 some odd years, and trust me, it's a very poor state. I mean, it's it's... To start off with, it is a very Republican state, meaning that this state depends on federal subsidies in other states that are Democratic, that are not Republican. And that is not a good thing when another state has to depend on a separate state for subsidies to help them out. And the second reason why you don't want to come here is because it's a Mormon state. In Utah, there is no division of church and state. There is only church plus state equals one. The Mormons here run this state. Every political office here in Utah, whether it be for governor, mayor, county recorder, whatever, you're Mormon. If you're not Mormon, you're not going to get any other role besides being a low-level employee at some fast food restaurant. So that sort of sucks, right? The third reason why you don't want to move here is because the minimum wage, not just, I mean, not talking about the regular minimum wage for, say, a person like me that goes into, say, fast food, is seven twenty-five an hour, which is basically the federal minimum wage because it hasn't been raised yet. I'm talking about for those servers out there that actually work in, fat, work in the sit-down dining restaurants. Their wage is two thirty-five an hour plus tips. And on that topic, the people here in Utah, they're greedy, they're stingy, they don't believe in anyone else except for themselves. And I'll give you a good for instance. I was in this restaurant called Black Bear Diner the other day, talking to a server that told me that she served a table of, I think it was like 10 people, and their bill came out to $200. And they did not leave her a single tip. And she's making two, three, five an hour plus tips, which means the hour, her her tips are gonna outweigh her hourly wage, which means her hourly wage is gonna go to her taxes. But yet these people, two hundred bucks was too high of a price tag to leave a tip for the person who actually brought you your food, served you your beverages, and gave you politeness. That's not right. The Mormons here are greedy. They're stingy. They don't care about you. And they never will care about you. I'm sure LDS in other states are a lot more friendlier. A lot more forthcoming with giving the proper gratuity to the people who deserve it. But here in Utah, it sucks. Because these Mormons only care about what they want. And what they want isn't going to give you gratuity at all. Unless you work in a very expensive restaurant where your hourly wage versus your tips are... This is a joke because your your tips outweigh your hourly wage by a lot. There's a restaurant here called Walter's Osteria. It's a very fine dining Italian restaurant. I actually worked there for two and a half years before I left that establishment because I saw a lot of stuff that I wasn't very happy with. But their servers at that restaurant every two weeks would walk away with a minimum of a $2,500 check from tips alone. And that's because it was a very fine dining, expensive restaurant. We have a few of those here in Utah, but not a whole lot. And let's see here. I let's see. I, I say I covered the Mormons. I covered the um, minimum wage for servers. I've covered the Republicans. The state is, like I said, it's also very trumple foreskin, if you want to put it that way, because the Mormons here have not been circumcised off Trump's dick yet. In fact, I go around and every once in a while I'll still see a Trumple foreskin truck with those uh, those what, those rock cards that they're called right behind their back tire that says Trump's number one pet. And I think it's funny because, as we all know, Trump already lost the election, so why keep it going? But yet these people are so far behind on their education that they do not realize that Donald Trump isn't coming back. And to be his number one pet is not a good thing. Which brings us to our fourth note. 
the education system here. It is so far behind other states that it's not even funny. For instance, when I, when I was younger and my sisters actually went to another state for a couple of years, was educated there, they came back here and they, Utah wanted to jump their, their grade level up by two grades. They came back to be in the eighth grade here and they, Utah wanted to put them in the 10th grade because Utah's education system is terrible. I mean, I grant you, maybe universities might be a bit better, but also that also falls upon the LDS religion as well. Because we have Utah Valley University, which is a basically Mormon university, which means if you're not Mormon, you're not getting in. The same thing goes with Brigham Young University and a few other universities in Utah as well. If you're not Mormon, don't bother applying because you won't get in. And our fifth and final reason for not wanting to come to Utah is because basically because the cost of living here is a joke. Like I said, they pay their people seven twenty five an hour and expect them to be able to afford a twelve hundred dollar apartment that is basically a dump. That's right. Our housing here is a joke. We have a lot of homeless people here. I do mean a lot of homeless people that hang in, out at downtown Salt Lake City. And yet, no one in our government wants to help them out. They want to take away any housing they may have set up in Utah Valley and make them even worse off than they were. Or they want to give them a homeless shelter, which is so overrun and probably so disease-ridden and also ridden with other insect, other crap. That is a joke. Our homeless population isn't isn't slowing down. It's actually growing. I see a lot of homeless people walking the streets in downtown Salt Lake, and it is sad. And it's not because it's, these people don't want to get a job. I'll grant you some of them don't because they're actually most of the homeless people around here are actually selling narcotics. That is actually a proven fact. But there are also homeless people around here that actually want to try to get a job. But the employers around here that are still basically begging for help because there's help on the signs in Utah everywhere will not hire them because of how they look. And that's right. Utah will base your, your employment on how you look. So basically Utah is discriminatory. They will discriminate against you if you don't fit their profile of what their employee needs to look like. And th that's basically Utah just sucks. Total, if you're, if you're not from Utah, don't come to Utah because Utah will just drag you down and make you feel like crap. I'm sure there's other states out there that actually have along this or along the same type of uh, guidelines, you want to put it, but Utah is pretty bad. I mean, I've heard California has a, a lot of LDS in there and that their LDS are actually a lot better than Utah's. And you know what? I believe it. Because I have never met a single religion on this planet that was so greedy, self-centered, and full of themselves that they need to be shut down because they're not a religion. They're a satanic cult. Proven fact. As you heard me earlier on the thing, their statues on the temples are Lucifer, not Moroni. And I'm sorry, if that thing blows its horn and the lion lays down with the lamb, the lamb's going to become dinner. I mean, we're not stupid here, people. But apparently the Mormons are. Hence their lack of education. That's why you do not want to come to Utah. But until my next rant and rave about good or bad states, you guys have a wonderful, a wonderful evening, and please be safe out there. Bye.